can hear everyone awake watching TV. I, heard, I knew I heard it on camera. <laughs> Mommy, everyone was screaming. I can hear you. Maddie came in the, immediately, and Nana was in the restroom, and so when she came out, she just came, went in my room to find me, and then she came back in here. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I could hear her screaming. Mommy's watching her face. I could hear you screaming. <laughs> what are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep good? You woke up early today, huh? Uh oh. Zoom. Hey guys, official good morning. It's eight. Autumn's on her Zoom. <laughs> They're doing like morning announcements and stuff like that. She, she's been on it for a little while, like 15 minutes. Everyone's getting breakfast. I'm making myself some eggs. Andres is still sleeping. He had a late night last night. So he's upstairs. Even Everly's having a waffle and some blueberries and some milk. I'm just going to make myself some eggs and get the day started. I'm giving the cats their food for the morning and seeing if they're well they don't get it every morning but seeing if they come morning. Sebastian, good morning Sebastian okay there they come here we go sharing the song <laughs> sing along if you know it you hear it <laughs> this is hard to do one handed You're left handed this is this uh that's Mila they're like, yes, we hear it. Go ahead and do that one, baby. You okay? Careful. So they they do the Purina Pro Plan. It's what their uh, dry food is to this one is. Ocean white fish and tuna for kitten, and that one is for Lola. White meat and red Yep, that's what their breakfast is. <laughs> yeah, make sure they don't eat out of each other's bowl. <laughs> Quick lunch idea for myself. I chopped up one head of romaine. Well, I guess it's a head. Like one of the, when I buy the six pack, I chopped up one. I have about five in ounces of chicken breast, some cherry tomatoes, red onion, uh, cucumber. I have feta cheese in here and some slivered almonds. It's nine points total. There's the feta. Nine points total, um, and it has Olive Garden light Italian dressing on top, salt and pepper, and some garlic powder. It's really, really good, you guys. Like a Greek-type salad. So good. It's what my Hannah Benny's taking for his lunch as well. She made it look so good that I had to get, my, <laughs> get one, too. <laughs>
Hey guys, official good morning. I did not finish vlogging yesterday because it just was, I just didn't feel into it. So I was like, you know what, I'm done. So we're going to continue today. The girls are outside, I just finished up some breakfast. I had boiled eggs, I still have my yogurt over there. And the rest is finally getting a chance to put up Emmy's lights in her room, which I know she'll be so excited about. <clears throat> the three big girls are outside jumping on that trampoline. And yes, that is a sad, looking gingerbread house that they never finished coloring. <laughs> that was $20, so I probably won't buy another one. They did like it, but I think it was just too much coloring, too overwhelming for them. So yeah, they're outside jumping on that trampoline. So backstory on the trampoline. Um, I don't know if, I, if I've if i shown it or anyone has noticed it or what. Oh, look like there's a bald spot in my eyebrow. So the neighbors, I don't know if you guys can see, they're blue trampoline over there. This one, you may have seen it before in the background, they used to have this one in their backyard. They have two little kids, very little, like a two-year-old and not even a one-year-old, like Everly's age. And they had that little trampoline that the two-year-old got for Christmas last year, I think he told me, or 2019, I guess I should say. And so, anyway, the mom that lives there, she, messaged me and she was like hey I'm so sorry the little girl um we were putting up the trampoline and she put the hammer in your backyard <laughs> through like a hole I was like oh it's fine no big deal she had actually like broken a piece of the I don't know if she threw the hammer or what she did but she broke a piece of the fence and the hammer and the piece of fence were on our side of the yard she was like I'm so sorry we'll get it fixed I was like don't worry about it we'll fix it you know it's not that big of a deal and the rest just nailed it back in not a big deal we gave them their hammer back the girls love playing with their two-year-old she's super cute um they just i don't know i guess because everly's not quite old enough for them to like play play with her outside and their two-year-old is they like to play with her she's cute so anyway anytime they're outside they come over or they'll play with her in the front yard or whatever the dog is very fond of us their dogs have been in our backyard several times we don't hang out with a lot of our neighbors or anything but we've talked to them a few times especially since the pandemic from like across our yards and the girls only play outside and stuff with them and so it's it's the pandemic's definitely made it harder to make friends around here, but it's not impossible. So anyway, she was texting me and I was like, hey, um, my mom noticed that you guys got a new trampoline for Christmas. That's awesome. And she's like, yeah, yeah. I said, let me know if you're going to get rid of your old one. Um, we'll buy it from you because I knew like Everly and Autumn would probably like it. And she was like, oh, no, you can have it. I'll have him put her husband I'll have him put it over the fence and I was like oh no no it's fine I'll, we'll buy it and she's like no girl we were gonna send it to Goodwill anyway I was like okay so that's exactly what happened her husband and his brother were there one day and he was like oh she told me you want um the trampoline she's like he's like perfect we'll just put it over the fence I was like okay so that's exactly what they did they put it over the fence since they got the bigger one and the girls love it. They miss having a trampoline. I definitely think the pool is better, but they do miss having a trampoline. So that's like, um, you know, a compromise. It was free, and it's definitely made for smaller kids, but they can all be on it, and it's not a big deal. Autumn got a personal trampoline that we had put outside, but it actually came broken, so we're going to exchange it. Um, Amazon is sending my mom another one because my mom got it for her for Christmas and we're going to put it upstairs so they have an indoor one and an outdoor one because that that little one it, it's just i think not made for outdoors like the bigger one is so anyway that's where that came from i'm having some light and fit greek yogurt this is the toasted coconut vanilla really good with two tablespoons of granola in it and then like i said i had some boiled eggs with mustard I know, and everything but the bagel seasoning. So good. Coming up to see my LED lights. They're amazing. I'm hurry, turn them off. Turn them off, I'm hurry, hurry, hurry. No. Can you give me the remote? Give me the remote. Ooh, la, la, la. Ooh. Ooh, la, la. Now let's 
see this. Ooh, you mm. like. Here, I have you like. Cool. It's different. I love it. Ooh, la, la. Perfect. Autumn's on her last Zoom of the day. Salad on repeat. So freaking good. I can't wait to eat it. I already made my honey bunnies lunch. He's about to leave. The girls are outside playing basketball. Everyone's a little restless. Um, they got to play electronics for just a little while. Everybody woke up from their nap. Yeah, they had a snack. And we are going to go outside and uh, burn off some energy. This is part of their snack. Shelled peanuts. They love those things. So anyway, we're gonna go outside, burn off some energy, go get some exercise before dinner. My anybody left his hydro flask, or is that a hydro? No, his Yeti here. Um, so we may go drop yes. that off to him. Okay. And then I actually have a grocery pickup order at Walmart. It's actually not even groceries. It's um, iron pills for Maddie, uh, bubble bath, body wash, bubble bath for the big girl, shampoo and conditioner for the big, well, for the middle girls. I use something different for Emmy's hair. And then um, bubble bath and body wash and shampoo for Everly because it came to my attention when somebody was bathing a couple days ago uh, mm. that all of her stuff was poured out for bubbles. Yeah. Huh. So because of that, she has nothing for bath. So I had some samples that I used yesterday and she has nothing. I used, finished up the samples and everything and now she has absolutely nothing for bathing. How I let that happen, I don't know. So yeah, and I did not have any backups of regular shampoo and conditioner for the big girls either, or for the middle girls. And so I had to place a $40 Walmart pickup order. So we're gonna pick up that today too. So I may drop off his water at that point. So yeah, let's go get some vitamin D and some exercise. These are the only snacks that she still likes that are <laughs> that are from like the baby section, the baby mum mums. These are the sweet potato and carrot rice husks. She really likes those. So we always have to have snacks. Let's go. We made it. I think, I don't know, we're about 15, 18 minutes out. So I figure I'll let them ride around a little bit and then we'll trek back and start working on dinner. Everly and I are just parked here. Hi, Mama. <laughs> Watching them ride their bikes. <laughs> Hi. Autumn's taking a little break. She's running around, so. Just enough to get some energy out. They play all day long outside. Hi. Um, and then they were, they have been outside for like an hour, two hours at a time playing that basketball game. They really like it, so that's pretty cool, so. Now we're just getting some additional exercise. And for me too, because it's too hard really for me to get exercise in the house. They're all kind of like up my behind <laughs> if I'm on the treadmill. And especially if Everly's not napping. And the problem is, is when she is napping, the treadmill's right below her room. And I haven't ran both of them, at, like her taking a nap and ran the treadmill at the same time to get an idea of whether it would be super loud for her or not. So. I need to get in some sort of workout routine and with COVID just getting worse, um, it doesn't look like the gym is anywhere in my future. And especially being at home with everybody, I may have been blurry this entire time, I don't even know. <laughs> um, but especially with being home with everybody, I'm not going to take them to the gym daycare. If I were gonna do that, they could go back to school. Do you like another one? You want more? Thank you. <laughs> so. Anyway, that's the plan. I actually have been looking at um, exercise bikes as well, like spin bikes. I've been watching so many reviews over them, um, specifically like Peloton knockoffs type of thing. I really don't want to spend three grand on a spin bike plus a monthly subscription. So I've been, did y'all switch bikes? <laughs> So I've been looking at knockoffs on Amazon to see if it's something that we're interested in. Um, we've kind of made room and created a little workout station in the garage, so we'll see. Nothing confirmed yet. It's just something I've been looking into. I've never really been into spin classes, but I think it would be something that would be interesting to have at home along with the treadmill. We have a couple of weights to do free weights, you know, just stuff like that. 
trying to make my tiny little at home gym because today it's really pretty it's like mid 60s low 60s so it's nice enough to walk but with colder weather coming up the remainder of January and most of February it's going to be hard and most of it's going to be indoors so we'll see I don't know right now I'm just letting them burn off some energy have fun car car and figure out what's for dinner we're in the car in the Walmart grocery pickup. Sorry, you probably, I don't know if that helps at all. The girls are watching. We are watching. Madagascar 2, Escape from Africa. That one. And I, I, we've been sitting here for about 25 minutes. I got a message. I was like, oh, Walmart pickup's always like super fast. No. If my window is between six and seven, I usually get a message like right before six or right after six saying that it's ready. And around 6.30, I didn't get anything. And I was like, okay. So I went on the app and it said that it was delayed. So I called and I, he was like, we're just a few minutes behind. You can come in. So we've been sitting here for 25 minutes. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, she's laughing. Um, and so I just called and I was like, oh, just checking on my pickup. You know, I can see you guys are busy. Like, this Walmart in particular has extended their pickup this entire driveway, like from nine spaces to... 15 I think and or no from eight spaces to 15 and so I can I was like it's just checking and he's like oh yeah just finished I'll bring it out I was like okay well when I pulled up the car next to me and the two cars beside me were already here so I'm like I don't if they haven't brought their orders out yet I doubt ours is going to be ready so I think in the future I may either not I, I just feel like everyone's doing grocery pickup right now because you know COVID's just so crazy and I don't think body wash was that important my order was only $43 after I rounded up to donate so yeah I, I don't I just think next time maybe I'll order stuff like this from Amazon <laughs> this is what I've had to listen to the whole 25 minutes. I think next time I'll just probably order stuff like this from Amazon and have it delivered because I th I'm thinking like time management here. Is it worth it to wait here for a few products? I don't know. I also ordered two frames. That's going to finish off the collage in my living room, so... What are you holding, Maddie? <laughs> it's on Everly. She's holding it and stuck in her face. You're holding her. <laughs> Everly. We're losing it. We're losing it slowly. I'm like as prepared as I can be with my mask on. The back door's open. Windows down. The cars next to me got their order. It's been 30 minutes since I last vlogged. So, yeah. And they substituted more than half of my order. So, and they canceled two things. Is that us? Is that us? Is that us? It's not us. I know they're working so, so hard, so I'm not even like knocking them or anything, I swear. I know they're working so, so hard. Um, but yeah, probably next time I'll just make an effort to go while Andres is home for, even if it's just, he just doesn't have, hi, for Melissa. Can I turn over? <gasps> Say goodnight to you tomorrow, boo. <laughs> okay, everyone's going to bed. The little girls just got put to bed, so you may hear Everly crying, but <laughs> Emmy's so excited. And oh and my gosh, they're so they're bright. not very that visible because, like, but at nighttime, since my room gets the brightest during the day and the darkest at night, you can see them very, very clearly. Yeah, the they look really good. Also, we moved this stuff needs to be put in the corner, look but at Lola, we moved. <laughs> Look, look at Lola. <laughs> Lola. Lotita, what are you doing in here? We moved yesterday, day, bef day before, uh, her nightstand into her dresser because she has, I mean, you can see she still has plenty of room in her closet area. She folds a lot of her clothes and she, there was no reason for her to have four sections of clothes and keep that out here. It just gives her so much more floor space to work on all her little projects and stuff by moving that in there. Um... It, look at your science is making it all fluorescent that's kind of cool so eventually for her we probably will end up putting the doors back on for the closet because she's got a lot of storage stuff in her closet like um, suitcases and 
her old sleeping bags and keepsake boxes and stuff. They both do. Maddie has the same stuff on the top of her closet. But Maddie's is a little bit more hidden because her closet is a little higher. Like this part of her closet is like here maybe. So everything is up into here. So you don't see it as much as you can see Emmy. So just for it's no longer aesthetic it's used as a closet and so for that reason we may end up putting the doors back on but we'll see because with the doors on it's really hard to get to these drawers you essentially cannot so maybe a curtain um maybe that'll be kind of a fix for right now <laughs> oh my gosh and anyway so she had her sewing kit and her backpack kind of tucked into that corner since she's not using her backpack right now and then she can get her sewing machine and kit out fairly easily the drawers still open completely so she's got plenty of room and then she can still store her stuff on top if she wishes and the cats can go in that <sighs> yeah and clearly the cats are <laughs> loving it all right bedtime oh good night see you tomorrow boop Okay, everybody is in bed, and miraculously, the living room stayed pretty clean today. Just the couch needs a freshening, but Lord, the kitchen floor. <laughs> I don't know how, like, <sighs> yeah, we ended up leaving in such a rush to Walmart because I was thinking it was going to be ready. In all reality, we could have stayed here and completely finished cleaning up from dinner, and dinner was good, very last minute, but we had some chicken, Chicken pepperoni, cheese quesadillas with <laughs> carrots. Cats are so strange. They're literally the strangest. Like, I just don't understand what their fascination with boxes and stuff is. But um, chicken, pepperoni, and cheese quesadillas for the girls. They had it with carrots and bell peppers on the side. Super good. I had the same. I had a carb sense with fat-free mozzarella and turkey pepperoni quesadilla for mine and some carrots so that was pretty good so yeah back to the whole walmart thing um I'm, they didn't even give me oh my gosh they gave me two different frames okay and this one's scratch <laughs> They substituted Maddie's iron pills for regular vitamins. So I had to send those back because she, I mean, she has to have iron. She's anemic and, and she's iron deficient. And so she has to have the iron pills. So I'm probably going to have to order those, those or go to a different Walmart or HEB. I don't even know if HEB carries them. But this is kind of, and I know it's just because, like I said, I'm not trying to like complain. These are total first world problems. This is a very much a luxury to be able to drive up and somebody else grocery shop for you at Walmart for free. So it's not like you pay anything. But my order <laughs> went all the way down to like $28 because they canceled a couple, they canceled my frame. I had to cancel the um, vitamins, which is cool. If they substitute something, they give you the option of rejecting it. So you don't even have to take it if you don't want it. This substitution was perfectly fine. These are just bubbles. Um, yeah, everything was dumped into bath time everything so uh yeah i'm not sure why or how that happened but everything fell apart and away from us and so yeah um i have just the walmart brand of just a gentle mild um shampoo for everly and i'm just gonna have the big girls use i may still use this stuff on autumn but the big girls are just going to use regular well emmy's used regular stuff for a long time but Maddie and maybe Autumn. This is bubble bath for Everly and then I got bubble bath for the girls which they don't use that kind of stuff all the time. First off they don't take baths all the time. Sometimes they just take rinses, quick showers type of things but yeah <laughs> when I went to go use it the other day, two days ago and I was like where's all this stuff? Everything was emptied out and in the trash can so I had to use samples. Luckily I had them but now I'm completely out, so I really wanted to try and coupon. I can't even get to Walmart <laughs> since Andres went back to work, so I doubt I'm going to make it couponing. And then I just picked up a shampoo and conditioner for Autumn, uh, yeah, Autumn and Maddie. I actually like the conditioner for detangling Emmy's hair, not for deep conditioning, but for detangling it works fine. And then canceled the vitamins. <laughs> and this is the frame that I wanted in the five by seven. I ordered two of these. They canceled one of them, but they ended up, I have to see if I got charged for it. They ended up giving me this frame, 
which you're like, Melissa, it's the same. It's not. It's beveled. I don't know if you can tell. Right there. Like at an angle, this one is completely flat. So it's fine. It's not that I won't be able to use this one somewhere, but on, let me show you real fast. The So we moved the four pictures of the girls used to be over here with our, our um, canvas picture. We added one of us and did it like that. And then I want a five by seven here and a five by seven here. And this is the one that I want. So it's gonna go like this and like that. Well, now I have to find another one. So it is what it is. Not a super great <laughs> experience with the Walmart hauls today, but not a big deal. I did get the essentials, which was the shampoo and stuff for Everly, so not a big deal, like I said. If I have time tomorrow, well, no, probably not tomorrow morning. I'll have, probably have to wait for his next day off to go get the other frame and stuff, and we'll figure it out. So now I am going to spruce up the kitchen, get everything ready for tomorrow, spruce up the living room, edit, probably watch a show before I go to bed. I know I've just looked fabulous all day long. I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you. I just got done editing the vlog. It's exporting right now, so I'm going to wait to upload that. That should be probably 20 to 30 minutes. I was multitasking, so while the footage was importing, I was running around, picking up stuff, <laughs> cleaning up the kitchen, flipped all the chairs, wiped them all down, wiped the table, ran Mr. Rover. Well, you know, Mr. Rover likes to get stuck underneath the uh, uh, couch nowadays, so... I have to be really careful of him. It has to do with this rug, which I actually get so many compliments and questions on this rug. Um, it's from Costco. It was like, we got it back. I feel like, I don't even know. Honestly, I can't even remember if we had it since Everly's here or not. <laughs> My like perception of time is gone. So I really don't know how long we've had it. I'd have to go back and look. And if I remember to go back and look, I'll post it here on the screen. But we've had it for a little while. From Costco, I want to say it was like 200 and some odd dollars. I feel like we've had it a year. I feel like we got it after Everly was born, but I could be wrong. So anyway, we have um, really been home pretty much the entire time that we've had it in quarantine or um, just like stay at home protocol or just home more distance learning, whatever. And we've beat up this rug. I wouldn't say I necessarily recommend it. Like you can see over here, it still looks nice and plush. And that's typically what I get the most compliments on. It's like, oh my gosh, your rug, not just the color and the pattern, which is just very neutral, but it looks so plush and comfortable. And it is, and it was. But do you see here how the foot traffic, because we're here the most, like from that cushion all the way over here, how it's flattened and literally no matter how much I clean or I rub or whatever, it's flattened, it's gone. There's no bringing that fluffiness back. So what I actually would like to do is flip it and bring it out a little bit because <laughs> Mr. Rover now gets stuck all the time. I used to be able to have him on a timer. Uh, Mr. Rover is our robot vacuum. If you have no clue who I'm talking about or you missed the memo that I was showing him. Got him from Amazon. It's an iLife robot vacuum. Love it. Very great. I mean, it's just been amazing. We've had it for a few years now. It's like 120 bucks. So worth it. But I used to, before we got this rug, be able to set a timer and have him go off at like 1 o'clock in the morning. And then I would wake up every day, empty him out, and he'd have trash and dirt every single day every day because children live here and <laughs> I swear I told them today I was like do you see how clean the house was when y'all got back from grandma's house do you see how messy the house is today it's because y'all live here I mean really you know adults make messes too but truly if you have children you know what I'm saying like they can destroy a house especially little kids I feel like are 10 times worse because they don't Everly has no idea what she's doing. I mean, we're trying to teach her to like put away her toys and stuff, but she's, she's one, she's 13 months. She doesn't know what she's doing. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the house just is like in shambles every single night. I would love to be able to run Mr. Rover and wake up to clean floors. I know he's not like mopping, although I do know they have one that mops now, which would be kind of cool, but I feel like that would be a disaster waiting to happen in this house. I don't know, maybe not. But I do have to say, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not gonna watch TV. I'm gonna finish straightening it up and go to bed. 
But yeah, going back to the robot, I would love to wake up and have spotless floors, or not spotless, but to where I feel like I don't have to vacuum and sweep every single day. I'm literally sweeping two to three times a day, vacuuming multiple times a day, and it's very easy because I have the handheld vacuum, but I don't wanna do that. If not me, the girls, or Andres, like each one of us will kind of do a pass throughout the day. I don't wanna have to do that. It would be so nice to sweep after we eat, because that's our typical routine, clean up the kitchen, sweep and mop the kitchen. If not like spot mop, with baby wipes I should say. <laughs> it's not really like spot mopping. It really depends on how I'm feeling, how the night went, if everyone's taking a bath or half of them are taking a bath or whatever the case may be. We have plans, stuff like that. So it just depends. And typically I have four children. The three bigger ones help me, and you may be thinking, oh, I would never have my kids help me. Well, don't send your kids to my house, because my kiddos know better. We work as a team to clean up sometimes, like you saw me this morning. I will clean up after them, especially Everly, but most of the time, they're all helping me clean in whatever fashion, even if it's not something they did, or if it is something they did, or if it's something that one of their sisters did that they're having to help clean up, we work together, so anyway, that's just how we do it in the house. But again, going back to the robot for the third time because I swear sometimes I get distracted by the smallest things and I'm like, squirrel. I need him to stop getting stuck on the rug. So this rug hasn't, I feel like, held up very well. Although you may look at it for 200, I think it was like 220 or 230 for that amount of money. I don't know how much y'all spend on rugs, but let me tell you, the other rug that I now have in my office, we have had for 10 years, and it's held up perfectly fine. <laughs> We've had no problems with it whatsoever. None. It hasn't shed, it hasn't torn, it hasn't uh, like tatted, is that what the word is? When the little strings fall out. And this rug we've had like a year, maybe a little over, and it's already pushed in. So. To me, that's not a great quality rug, but it is really comfy and cozy, and if you don't have as many children as I have, maybe it would hold up a little bit better, but this one, no. So I, th I want to, it's just so heavy to move. It's so big, uh, but I really would like to turn it, so kind of like your mattress when you rotate it, I really would like to turn it and pull it out from the rug. At first I thought that was a great idea, but Mr. Rover just cannot hang. And we have the couches on risers already, and he still can't clear it. And he could clear the couch with the other rug, so I think it's just, he just needs a little bit more room. And so I think I'm gonna pull the rug out a little bit. I think it'll also make it a lot easier to vacuum in the area, and I think it'll be easier for the girls to get the toys, because Right now, that's a problem with, I, I honestly feel like the next house that we get, we are getting new furniture all throughout the house, except probably the big girls' rooms because they have nice furniture already. Autumn needs new furniture, but that's beside the point. The next couch set that we get, I really would like a couch set that does not have a gap, that cannot hide toys, because this couch will eat some toys. It's crazy. Anyway, I don't know what the heck I'm even talking about anymore. I need to finish up this house. I'm going to pull Mr. Rover out and rescue him and set him to go again and hope and pray he makes it at least for a little while. He did a great job in the kitchen so far, but he just got stuck coming in the living room. So yeah, I'm gonna finish up. That way too, my Hannah Minnie can com come home to a nice clean house. I know, like, I am definitely, I, I said this in yesterday's vlog too, I am definitely not built to be a housewife stay-at-home mom like I, that is not and I've had conversations with you guys I have talked about this before this is this was not my dream job it, it really wasn't and it's not because I don't love my children I do I love and adore them and I know down the line as overwhelming as it can feel sometimes to be stuck at home with nothing to do them telling me that you know they're lonely they're bored they miss their friends they miss their teachers and having to take on that burden of teaching them when that's not what i want to do i know down the line i'm going to chokes me up cherish the time that i have with them even if in the moment it feels like i'm a bad parent i'm you know i feel awful sometimes feeling overwhelmed and I feel awful being like oh, I need you to go back to school when I know I know I'm not going to send him back to school you know and so 
I know I'm not the only one feeling like this. I get messages daily from you guys and we talk back and forth. I know it's normal to feel like this, even as just a parent in general. I think even if you choose to be a stay-at-home mom, like that's what's best for your family, that's what you've always wanted to do in your life is be at home and raise your kids and be 100% involved in everything about them. I think even for those of you that choose that, it can be overwhelming sometimes and that's okay. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. It's okay to have those feelings and to feel like you're failing and you, you're not doing anything right and it's just one thing after another. And all you can do is just keep going. And that's literally what I tell every single one of you that messages me about this stuff because I feel it every day. I get frustrated with waking up to a dirty house, not even just physically dirty, like cluttered, and trying to figure out constantly where we're gonna put stuff because we either want or need to have it and we just don't have enough room and feeling bogged down with nothing to do, which is why I'm so glad we have so many things for the kids to do outside, which is why I'm glad they're big enough that we can go for bike rides and stuff like that to get them out because Without that, I'd have no saving grace, and I have no idea how you guys with little ones that have little ones back to back to back to back that all all they do is just whine and cry all day long. I don't know how you do it because at least my big kids, I they know if I'm busy working with one of the littler ones, they know to wait and be patient, and little ones don't know that. <laughs> So I just don't know how some of you are doing it. And I'm sure some of you look at me and don't know how we're doing it. And some days it's hard and you know, we have breakdowns and we get frustrated with each other and the girls have breakdowns and it's not all hunky dory and perfect, but I know, I know down the line, I'm going to want to be home and yearn to have them here because they're going to be big and not be at home and I'm going to be working and I'm not going to have them at my disposal as much as I do now because they're still little and so I just try and keep reminding myself of that even when it gets hard. But trust me when I tell you I totally understand the mom struggles which is why I like to have the house clean when my husband gets home because I know he works really hard and even though he just went back to work, I know even just going back to work is really hard for him. He misses us every day. He wants to be home. He doesn't want to be at work. We, I mean, if we could keep him home, we would. And I'm contemplating, honestly, <laughs> I'm contemplating keeping him home. But it's just one of those things like, I was not built to be a housewife and I don't strive for perfection every single day. I don't, I'm not one of those that's like, I have to have a home cooked meal and a spotless house for my husband when he comes home from work. No, we still are, you know, eh, I'd say like 60, 40 or like 65, uh, 35 type of thing because he just, he still is home for part of the day, either if it's morning or afternoon or night or whatever. And he has two days off a week and that's his personality. He still helps with stuff. He still will um, do like a, a lesson or something with one of the girls so that I don't have to do it every single day. So I'm super grateful for that. And so, which is why I try to be that housewife and he comes home and it smells good and looks good and everything's put away. So he doesn't come home and he's like, oh my gosh, it's a wreck in here, you know? So anyway, that's all I had to say today. I don't know that any of that made sense or really where it all came from, but I just thought it was heavy on my heart today and I would share it with you guys. So I'm hoping my vlogs <laughs> exported by now. I'm gonna finish cleaning up, rescue Mr. Rover, upload my vlog, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed.